dudes, dude the builder here. And in this episode of Zig and Death, we're going to be talking about uh, the while loop in Zig. The basic while loop has this form. You're going to have the while keyword, and within the parentheses, you're going to have a condition. And as the keyword says, while this condition is true, the loop will keep on iterating. Okay. Um, it's very common to have uh, a variable that you're going to be incrementing or, or changing in, in some way while the loop is iterating. And in this case, uh, we're defining this var here called i, which is also very common. And within the loop, we're just uh, printing out that, that uh, variable, the value of that variable, and incrementing it. Okay. So this is really basic stuff like you would find in, in pretty much any other uh, programming language. But uh, Zig also adds uh, uh, what's called a continue expression. So instead of having two increment like, like we're doing here, um, inside the loop body, we can add this colon here after the condition. And then we add another set of parentheses. And inside that, we can add either a simple expression or a more complex one, as we're going to see um, uh, further below. But it's, it's actually a single expression because uh, in the case of the more complex expression, it's basically just a block, which is an expression itself. But here we're just uh, incrementing i, okay, by one. And once again, we're printing out. So basically, the use of the continue expression here allows us to turn this while loop into a simple one-liner, okay? Here we have an example of uh, a, a continue expression, which is a little more complex. If you have to do more than one thing, you can by basically using a block. Okay, so here inside the parentheses, we have the curly braces that define a block. And inside that block, we're incrementing i and we're incrementing this j variable that we defined over here. And then we print out uh, those two uh, variables. Okay. Now we're going to see that as as we saw with the for loop, uh, we can use the keywords break and continue inside the while loop. And also, uh, just like the for loop, we can add a label, as we're doing here, to the while loop. So if we have a nested while, like we have here, or a nested for, any type of nested uh, uh, block inside the loop, uh, we can use that label as we're doing here with continue or with break to precisely continue to the next iteration or break out of the loop, okay? Specified by the by the label. So that's basically uh, pretty much the same as in the, in the case of the, the for loop. Now, also as in the case of the for loop, uh, Zig allows us to use a while loop as an expression, okay? And what we're going to see here is a little demonstration of a while loop that can determine if a given number is within a range. So we define the start and the end. Okay. And uh, to be able to uh, modify that, that start uh, on each iteration, we're going to assign it to the, to the variable i that we had um, de defined earlier. Here, n is going to be that number that we're going to be testing. And we're, defi we're uh, defining here a constant called in range, which is basically going to be a Boolean. So uh, we're, we're, how are we going to obtain that Boolean? Well, we're going to use the while loop as an expression. Here, we're going to loop while i is less than or equal to end. Okay, We're going to increment i by 1 on each iteration. And on each iteration, we're going to test if n is equal to i. If it is, we break true, OK? So just like in the for loop, if we break from a while loop as an expression, that value that we're passing on to the break uh, keyword, that's, that's going to be uh, the result value of this whole while loop. But if we never break from the while loop, then the else clause is going to be evaluated. And in this case, the else clause is just returning the value false, OK? So if we find uh, uh, that n is equal to uh, i in any of the iterations, we're going to break true. Otherwise, it's false, OK? And then we print out the result of that. Another very uh, unique and interesting um, use of the while loop in Zig is uh, in combination with optionals. 
as we saw with the if, if statements and if expressions with optionals. Uh, when you have an optional, it could be null or it could be a value. And in an if statement or expression, you can uh, test uh, and uh, if that optional indeed has a payload and it's not null, then you can capture that payload. So with the while loop, you can do basically the same, but in this case, it'll keep iterating until that optional is null, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, we have this global variable right here that's called countdown, and we're setting it to three, okay, here. And in, in the condition of the while loop, we are calling this function that's called countdown iterator. And this function is defined down here. It's a uh, pretty simple function. It's using an if as an expression. It's testing if countdown is zero, it'll return null. Otherwise, it'll uh, evaluate this block, which uh, decrements countdown by one, and then breaks returning the value of countdown, okay? And this is all just one return statement, uh, given that uh, the if uh, is an expression here. Okay, so um, what we're, we're seeing here with the while loop and the optional is that this function returns an optional. Okay, an optional u size. So uh, this test here is going to be testing if that uh, return value from the function call is null. If it is, the while loop is going to end. But if it isn't, we, uh, we then uh, ha have the opportunity to capture that payload from the optional and execute here this statement. Uh, you can also, let's add here, have an else here. And, and whatever you put uh, in here would be executed when this condition uh, evaluates to uh, null, OK? So that's another option that you can use with the while loop and optionals. Um, it, 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 you can also make use of that else clause uh, in the case where the optional uh, evaluates to null. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, that's it for while loops in Zig. As as you may uh, have perceived, uh, these are pretty simple um, control flow uh, mechanisms in their language. And let's uh, see the output here. Everything is running uh, correctly. Yes, and you have all the output from all those uh, debug print statements. Okay. So I hope you find this useful. Do the builder here. See you in the next one.